Experiment video of intelligent hydrogen and oxygen atomizer 11. A hydrogen measurement experiment. The first experiment we do today is the measurement of hydrogen concentration. First of all, we turn on the machine and select hydrogen and oxygen atomization mode. Let us move the water tank away and put aside. Take a plastic bag to block the water outside. The bubbling place we can see here is just our hydrogen production module that is producing hydrogen. We use hydrogen measurement pen to measure the concentration of hydrogen in water. Turn on the machine, we can now see the value is zero. We can see the value is changing all the time. The hydrogen concentration in water can reach more than 500. Let us take a cup of purified water for comparison. We can see the value is zero. It indicates that there is no hydrogen in purified water. E. Effective boring component experiment. Next, let us do the second experiment so as to measure effective boring component in disinfection mode. First, we add a spoonful of salt to the water. Just about a spoon. We can use a spoon. After adding salt, let us stir evenly. We turn on the machine select disinfection atomization mode. And we wait a few minutes. Over a few minutes. Now we have a smell of disinfectant. It indicates now there is chlorine. We use this reagent that measures chlorine. Let us drop a few drops into purified water first. Then swing it. The color of the purified water does not change. It indicates that there is no chlorine in the purified water. Then let us take one cup of the water. And we add our reagent. We can see the color of the water becomes orange. It indicates that there are so many effective flowering components. Experiment on elimination of agricultural residues. Now at us do the third experiment to measure the effect of disinfectant on eliminating agricultural residues. The disinfectant we use contains malachite green which is a component of agricultural residues. We add malachite green to a beaker. And stir it up. We pour the water with agricultural residues into two beakers. Let us first try to add purified water to see whether it can be eliminated. We see the color of the water has not changed. Then, in another one we add our disinfectant. We can see the color of the water fades away slowly. It indicates that the residues in the water have been eliminated by our disinfectant.